Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the collection sets and their current cycles, and then we're also going to go over all of the daily challenges, first the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. But if you guys are specifically looking for Madden Nazar's location, make sure you guys check out my previous video that I released prior to this one, and you guys will actually be able to find her a lot quicker. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy, and if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot, and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. Show your love and support. You already clicked on the video. It takes two seconds to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. So we're going to be talking about uh, all of the collection sets and their current cycles. I'm going to start with everything that involves using the field shovel because that is what has changed when the recent uh, update or the naturalist roll update to Red Dead Online. So anything that involves using the shovel is going to be affected. So these are the ones that are included on that. We have the fossils, a part of cycle number four. We have the lost jewelry at cycle number one. The arrowheads at cycle number six. The family heirlooms at cycle number five. And then the coins at cycle number four. Now the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. But you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So I highly recommend that you guys get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can. But if you want to be able to get a few sets prior to get that collector bag, so as soon as you become a collector, you have some basically startup cash or stuff that you can turn in basically right away, then these are going to be for you. We have the American Wildflowers. There's going to be three sets every single day, and those are going to be a part of cycle number two. We have the tarot cards, also a part of cycle number two. We have the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number three. And then we have the bird eggs at cycle number one. I hope that that helps you guys. Helps. I hope that that helps you guys out a lot today, so that you guys can make as much money as possible here in Red Dead Online. All right, let's go to move on to the daily challenges. We're going to start off with the list mode, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So on the daily challenges, we got five black horn picked. We got three complimentary snacks eaten at a saloon. One facial appearance updated at the barber. We have one showdown in any showdown series. Just finish it. We have one go on call and complete a story mission. Five redfin pickerel caught. And then three wolves killed. Bounty hunter roll. We got two bounties brought in from the Lemoyne posters. Three bounty targets brought in. And then two bounty targets lassoed from horseback. The trader roll. We got 20 donations to Crips. One resupply mission completed with five minutes left. And then two resupply missions completed. The collector roll, we got three antique alcohol bottles found, one antique alcohol bottle drank, and then we got three collectibles found with a shovel. The moonshine roll, we got $200 money made from moonshine sold, two moonshine bar danced for two minutes. We got four moonshine served to other players at a bar. And then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll, five animal samples sold to Harriet. Three forest and river animal samples taken, and then three wetland animal samples taken. Now you guys have the opportunity of earning 11 gold bars every single day. Five from completing the daily general challenges, six from the daily rule challenges. The best way that you guys can actually earn as much gold as possible is to complete at least one daily challenge. It doesn't matter from what category. For at least 21 real days in a, in a row, not 21 in-game days. Once you hit that, you'll get 0.5 gold bars per daily challenge, and then you just have to maintain that by completing only one every single day going forward. Obviously, the more that you do, the more gold that you can make. Now, in order to get the most amount of daily rule challenges presented to you guys every single day, purchase all of the current rules that are available. There's five of them. And then be at least a rank 10, you'll get access to all three of them of the daily rule challenges, which means that there's actually 15 daily challenges that are an opportunity to complete but you only have to choose nine of them. So pick the nine that are the easiest for you to complete because once you hit nine, the rest of them become grayed out anyway. So pick and choose very wisely and what benefits you and what makes it easiest for you to complete each and every single day. All right, starting with the black corn picked. Uh, this one's going to be down in the tumbleweed area. Uh, the best location that I can honestly give to you guys is, uh, let's zoom out here be a little bit quicker uh literally you can find it pretty much it's like if you guys like look around in this area this is where you're going to find it. but specifically i'm going to come up here just a little bit south of ross killer ford this is probably one of the best locations i think this is where i usually go to get this one done but 
it's just, it's like a straight line to get all of them, and they're kind of all in a row, and they kind of just follow this path. Uh, this one's a little bit off to the side of the road here, but or the path. Then we have another one that's going to be right about here, another one right about uh, here or so, and then another one a little bit further down right about here, and then also right in here. So you guys can definitely see that line of the ones that you would pick, uh, but you only have to pick five of them. Each spot typically has two or three uh, plants that you can actually pick for the day. All right, moving on to the next one is going to be three complimentary snacks eaten at a saloon. And I'm actually going to do this one specifically with the facial appearance together. Now, there's actually three spots on the map that I would recommend doing this at. I would recommend doing either of these at either Blackwater, Sand Knee, or in Valentine. The nice thing about the one in Valentine is they're literally in the exact same place. You can change your facial appearance at the same time as you're eating. Well, not the exact same time, but literally you just stop eating your snacks and you walk over to the barber. Otherwise, the saloon and the barber are fairly close in San Denis, and they're also just kind of like a block away from each other in black water. So these two can definitely be done together for today. The next one is going to be finished showdown in any showdown series. Uh, so just pick one and then finish it. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't even matter how good you do. You're going to get paid gold for participating in the showdown itself. Plus, you're also going to get the daily challenge gold. So that's pretty fantastic. Go on call and complete a story mission. All you have to do is back out of here. Yeah, let's back out of here. And then go down to on call or quick join. And then you're going to see story mission on call. And that's all that you have to do in order to get that one complete. I know that some people said that they were having issues with it the last time, so I, I hope that you guys, I wish you guys the best of luck with that one. We got three wolves killed. I'm going to show you guys my, probably my three go-to locations for this, so let's go ahead and go over them. My number one spot is always right here at the Little Creek River area, uh, just right here at this intersection. There's almost always wolves. They typically are three or four almost every single time that you go to the area. My next location is actually down by McFarland's Ranch, pretty much right in this general area, right along the main road. So if you're coming up from Armadillo and you're riding up this road right here and you pass McFarland's Ranch, typically there will be wolves there as well. I mean, it's not all the time, but it is pretty common. The other one is actually over by Moonstone Pond in this area. Sometimes they're on this bottom path and then sometimes they're on this upper path. So maybe just ride around the Grizzlies East area for just a little bit of time. And you should be able to find wolves up there. But I suggest the first location that I showed you guys. It's to do that one first if you want my recommendation. The bounty hunter roll. A lot of these can actually be done together. So two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. Three bounty targets brought in. Literally these two can be done together. Because two of them will be from Lemoyne. Then you can do another one from Lemoyne. And get three of them brought in. And then three bounty targets lasso from horseback. You just have to be on your horseback when you lasso them. Easy peasy. These probably will only take you 15 minutes to get all these done. Not bad. Five minutes a piece. Can't beat that for one and a half gold bars. It's like double the time that it would take you to do two showdown. And you'd have got a fraction of it, the gold, if you did showdown by themselves. Uh, the trader roll, we got 20 donations to Crips. I like to do feathers just because feathers is, are the easiest to obtain. You can either break down animals or you can go after like ravens. Uh, ducks, geese, herons, egrets, things like that. They all get flight feathers and they all get their actual feather. So you can turn in just the flight feathers. Those are obviously the easiest. Or if you want a little bit of extra materials for your camp, then you can donate the actual uh, specific feather of that bird. We got one resupply mission completed with five minutes left. So basically do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can. And then we got two resupply missions completed. So, um, one you have to do as fast as you can. There's going to be a cool off period about 20 to 30 minutes and then you're going to have to do the next one. So this one will take about 45 minutes to complete. Obviously just one of the two resupply missions you just have to complete as fast as you possibly can. The collector roll, we got three antique alcohol bottles found. Again, alcohol, uh, antique alcohol bottles will be a part of cycle number three for today. And then you have to drink one of them. Or if you don't want to do the antique alcohol bottles, you can just drink whatever is in your inventory as of right now. Then we got three collectibles found with a shovel. If you want to guarantee the shovel, I would go after either arrowheads or the coins. Because all of those locations will always be using the field shovel. 
And then last but not least, we got the Moonshiner roll. We got $200, or not, I guess this isn't the last one. We got the Naturalist roll to go over after this one. So we got uh, $200 money made from Moonshine. If you guys do the special Moonshine recipe and strong, it'll be $247. But if you break one bottle on that delivery, then you'll make less than $200. So just be as careful as you possibly can. Otherwise, you might have to do this in multiple deliveries. And then we got two Moonshine bar. Dance for two minutes. This one's pretty easy. You basically just hold down a button for four minutes. Not that bad. And then serve... Four other people at a moonshine bar. It doesn't even have to be at your own. It could be at theirs. And it doesn't even have to be somebody in the same posse. So you can just invite somebody in randomly or whatever and get this one completed. The naturalist roll. Now, this one is the last and not but not least. We got five animal samples sold to Harriet. But you have to do three wetland and three forest and river animals today. So whatever is easiest for you to kill in both of those, I recommend the alligators in the wetland. At least that's what it is easier for me. Forest and River, honestly, a lot of those are pretty easy. So uh, I think that overall category is probably the easiest one to get all the samples from and then turn it in to get a little extra cash uh, in the long run. And then you just sell any of those five to Harriet and easy peasy, lemon squeezy, all done. And uh, a lot of the easy, very easy roll challenges for today. But that is all the daily roll challenge or all the daily challenges done in general. Not just the daily general challenges or the daily roll challenges, but all of them. But if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.